Colin, more and more people gathering now because we're just about to reach the point where we'll get our first contact. Everything is uh, a little bit delayed the further north you go. We're around about sort of, 10 minutes behind uh, what you've been seeing, in, uh, first of all, in Spain and then, of course, in the UK as well. But we had a moment of excitement about uh, five or six minutes ago when we saw the sun for the first time. It has been a pretty depressing morning with a lot of rain, a lot of grey cloud. And then suddenly the sun broke through for a few minutes and we were all able to get our glasses out and take a look and think, oh, we might be on for something exciting after all. And it really will be a complete lottery because there are times this morning where we have seen great big patches of blue sky and you just want that blue sky to coincide with the moment that the sun is reaching its uh, total uh, eclipse. And the sun, right on cue, has come out and we can uh, see it now. Now, if it was to be like this in just over an hour's time, we would have the best on land where you can witness a total eclipse. One of them is here on the Faroe Islands and the other is in the far north uh, of Norway. So uh, around about 10,000 tourists have supplemented the population of 50,000 here to try to get the views. People are now starting to come down. They're bringing their cameras. A lot of people had uh, been able to in terms of the cruise liners, in terms planes and then of course people have been sort of doing last minute journeys as well but the forecast all week has been pretty gloomy nobody thought they would really be able to see anything even some of the cruise liners which were uh, uh, moored up overnight in the harbour here in the capital Torshavn uh, upped anchor and uh, moved elsewhere uh, to try to get a better view but it is a gamble I mean who would be the captain of a cruise liner that took a thousand passengers further out to sea and they saw nothing and the people where they had been where we are now got the view Oh, it's a tough job trying to be able to uh, keep an eye on these eclipses, isn't it?